One, two, three. Are we testing? I think we're live. Hold on, let's check. I think we're live. Wednesday night. Is it Wednesday? COVID. Cheers. Okay, we are here, and I believe we are live in the Spice Divas cooking group. Are we here? Are we here? I'm always checking on my other end as well. Good evening, everybody. Yes, we are here. Good evening. You are speaking to Cam. I'm checking to make sure my people are coming in, and I'm looking at the vault list. We are definitely talking about that vault list tonight. So how are we doing? Hi, Lorley. Hi, 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 hi. I'm going to put my little computer off to the side there. How is it going out there in, let's call it virtual space? Well, uh, Wednesday night, for some of you, it might be 9 o'clock. Thank you if it's 9 o'clock out there. Blessed. For those that are 6 o'clock, it might be just after your meal time, or it might be just at your meal time. So thank you for joining us either way. If you have come here tonight and you're watching me cook, that means that somebody has invited you to this cooking show. The person that has invited you to the cooking show is one of two people. It's either going to be one of our, our, our you ready, ready? Thank you, Jackie. For the hat, it's going to be one of our Epicure consultants, or it's going to be your host, which is probably a friend or family member that you know that has said, hey, come watch the cooking class and let's see what the products, uh, the pantry items and the cookware and all of that is about. So if you are here and your host has brought you, make sure that you go back and you talk to that host. She's going to have an order link up there for you. And we want you to purchase on, on those order links from that person that has brought you here. With that, that puts the cooking class into place. And then we have Miss Jackie. Got to say it again. There's a hat. She is, I'm going to just call her the prize person. Jackie is the prize person. So again, if you're here, she's already put up twice how we're going to get prizes. So go back and feed that Jackie. Chuck that up there as well. So she is our prize giver out tonight. So welcome to the Epicure cooking class. I'm Kim Vaughn. I am coming to you from Cloverdale, BC, Canada, which is Southwest BC. I am in the southernmost tip of Canada that you can pretty much get that gets snow once a year. The rest, you're all way above me. So I am here because I don't want snow. We get a lot of rain though. So Southwest BC. We started our growing season. I'm not sure if other people have started their growing season as well, but we have started that here. And I got a couple things I've done with Epicure products that I'm going to show you on that growing season. So tonight, what I'd like to talk about is one of the items that is in the vault list. And that is one of our Epicure um, products. So it is a hardware product. We also have items, the vault list. Sure, first, I should explain the vault list. The vault list that are either going to be discontinued because we're very picky about the products we sell or they are seasonally going away because we are revving up for another season. So the vault list, items that you may never see again or items that are ending for the season. One of the things some of you might be in is the Epic Life Challenge and you might be using this Good Food Real Fast Results Program Guide. This is as a nutritionist, this is one of the best guides I've ever seen in my entire life. This is almost done out of the vault, out of the vault list. If you do not have one, this is one of the best resources. I can vouch for this a thousand percent. It takes you from step one to step, I don't know, 365. A little bit about lifestyle, a little bit about eating, a little bit about exercise. Tells you how to get your pantry going. Gives you a whole bunch of recipes. And tonight, what we're going to do from this book, if you don't have it, get on your host. This is what I'm suggesting you get. You will not want to miss this. And I only have a couple left, and I did this my favorite book. I also have done all the videos on this in my project on how to build something. So tonight, I want to focus on their build, <clears throat> build a bowl. Let's see what their protein bowl is. I got to find it first. I just had it and I flipped it out of here. So we are going to do what's called their build a program. And this program, where did I just flip to? 
And the very first program that we're going to look at is you can either build a bowl, which is a snack bowl, a protein bowl is what I call them, or you can build a smoothie bowl. So they've got in this book the exact process of what you need and how to put it all together. And it's telling you step by step. They've got build a plate, build a sandwich, build a bowl, build a dessert. They have absolutely everything in here. And this book is done by registered dietitians. So tonight, I am going to build a bowl for you. That's what we're going to do here. So out of this book, it's one of the processes. So through the process, what the Good Food Real Results program is, is using that book as a guide and then teaching you how to portion your food. So there might be a few of you that have heard about different portion-based programs, and that is inevitably the only way to go, which is through portion-based. So if you asked me as um, how to successfully do something when it comes to eating healthy, I'd say be very nutrient conscious, but boundarize what you're doing. So these are called our portion scoops, and these are going away as well. And I love this set. I use it all the time. And what it does is it talks about the oils in one scoop, your proteins in another scoop, your grains in another scoop, and your vegetables and your fruits in another scoop. So all you do is take your products, scoop them out, put them into your contain container, and you've built your product. So that's how the build a process goes. We use the book that gives us the recipes and tells us exactly what we need, this much of this scoop, that of that. Then we use the scoops, we measure it out, and we simply put our build a portion together. So check in the vault book. That's what you're interested in. Really take a look at it. You can go right now. Again, your host might have it up there, but take a check on that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go right away into building our bowl. For those of are in the cooking class last time, one of the things other than building a bowl that I did last time is I made a cauliflower crust. Does everybody remember that? I did quiche cauliflower crust. So what I've done today, I believe that this product might have been sold out today in the vault. I'm not sure, but I did garlic. So I did the last of my spinach. Jackie, I'm so out of spinach. And garlic. So I used the Epicure garlic. Very, very um, deep flavor on the garlic. And I made a cauliflower crust that I'm actually going to make into sticks and add as a side dish to my bowl. So because I wanted this to actually have a theme to it, what I did with it is I added garlic, but my theme tonight to build my bowl is going to be a Southwestern theme. Um, I got some of these ideas. I had a university student stay with me. Courtney, thank you so much. He was from Palestine, Texas. He taught me the different ways that they're cooking down there. And he taught me about the new cheese industry coming up down there. So that was fascinating. So I thought I'd throw in the Southwestern thing going on. And with that Southwestern thing, I'm going to show you. We are going to build a bowl and we can have a variety of proteins we're going to build. Here's the one I've prepped. Are you ready? I'm going to show you. You're going to be so amazed at what this looks like. Are you ready? It's super amazing. No, it's not. It, it, it's just a drumstick. It's ugly. But if you take this gluten-free southern baked breadcrumb of Epicures, which is low sodium, impactful flavor, you end up with that flavorful, incredible looking chicken. And that is going to be the protein using one of my small um, prep bowls from Epicure, measuring out because it has the measurements on the side. That's going to be my Southwest chicken for my protein bowl tonight. So I got that. Um, yeah, and I sent a few packs down. He'll love those um, for his mom to try. And so we've got the chicken. So that was my Southwest. I prepped that ahead of time using the Southwest gluten-free. It's so impactful in the flavors. I can find out. I have a list that tells me everything that's in it. Um, chia, psyllium husk, onion, garlic, spices, sea salt, herbs, and black pepper. So it's the chia and the psyllium in here. It is incredibly good. So I'm going to use that as my chicken base. Then what I've done is I've got the rest of my little plate here. So these are the majority of the items that I am going to put into my prep bowl. 
So now some of you may not be animal, correct? Some of you may not be animal products, correct? But some of you might be a vegetarian-based protein product person, and these are black beans. So now we're going to look at all three of those. So which one do you want to put in yours? Here is my thing. I'll move that over to the side. The person I cook for and myself, we are super busy people. We're very active people. When I measure, I measure a lot. So we have a fair amount of protein going in here. And if you look at any health professional, the three things they're asking that we have is protein, grains, whole grains, and vegetables and fruit. Again, three things, protein, grains, and vegetables and fruit. So now your protein doesn't have to be animal-based, but if you want it to be animal-based, there's tons of options um, that you can do, variety of that, we all know that. It's getting into the diversity of the vegetarian-based. So I asked Jackie, um, I hope she'll put it up here, if she's on here, I asked her to put up a picture that I have. And many of you eat chickpeas, correct? Chickpeas. Chickpeas is a great source of vegetarian protein. So what I did is I thought, man, we have a lot of chickpeas. But going with Southern based, I wanted it to be black bean. What is the difference between a chickpea and a black bean? You know, you know, you know? First off, both of them that are different than animal, fiber, massive amounts of fiber in there. And we could not get enough fiber in our diets, people. So fiber, which is not a lot that the animal has, the animal chews it up and has it a different way. So it's a lot of fiber and has a lot of potassium. Do you want to know what the benefit of using a black bean against the chickpea? Are you ready? Drum roll. Black bean, chickpeas have 20 times more sugar than black beans. Chickpeas have 20 times more sugar than black beans. So if sugar is a challenge in your diet, use a black bean instead of a chickpea because chickpeas are actually high in sugar. The difference is too is that um, the one thing about chickpeas though is they have a little bit more protein in them and a little bit more potassium in them, but they have a little bit more protein. So I will give it up to the chickpea that way. Or maybe what your option should be is to do a little bit of chickpeas and a little bit of black bean, which gives you that little bit of sugar, the diversity of flavor. So what I'm going to do with mine tonight, because mine is all about mixes, I am actually going to take these black beans and I am going to add flaxseed oil. Now I'm choosing all types of vegetarian oil I'm cooking with tonight. I have a flaxseed, I have a virgin olive oil, and I have an avocado oil. What is the difference between an animal and a vegetarian oil? The vegetarian oil goes through your system very easily. It's easier on the arteries. It doesn't clog anything. Whereas animal has a saturated fat, a little heavier, goes through the arteries a little bit more, too much of it, builds it up, thins the arteries, and you're like, oh, heart attack. So vegetable oils are the way to go. But I want to marinate. I'm gonna take about a teaspoon of that, if that, marinate that, and I am going to marinate it in my Greek dressing um, from Epicure. I'm like Jackie, measure, 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 not today. And then I'm just going to mix that up. Oh, here it is. I got it, I got it. My three-way, my spatula, this is my, I use this more than I use my whisk now. So now I'm putting a little bit of oil on these beans. Why? Because they're, they're fiber and, and protein carbo-based, but they're not um, fat-based. So now by putting the oil in there, I have a pretty well-rounded product all by itself. And the beans have a lot more flavor. We also have a fabulous salt, pepper, um, and garlic that you can get with the grinder. Fabulous. And I've done that with beans as well. That is a really good one. So I'm just going to leave that off to the, off to the side. And I'm going to let that marinate. So my base tonight for my bowl is going to be three different types of 
lettuces going on. I'm using three different greens. Now here in BC, our greens are not quite where they really want them to grow unless we're getting them from outside somewhere. So the three greens that I'm choosing to use is I'm going to use a little bit of spinach. I'm going to use the one thing I am finding that's starting to come out of BC. This is the leaf lettuce. Look at the size of this. This came out of BC. Dylan filled this with Southwest chicken and cheese last night. And then he just pulled it all together and he just ate that. And that was his, that was his sandwich type thing. So he did that with the Southwest chicken. So I'm going to have a little bit of spinach, a little bit of just water lettuce, like an iceberg type lettuce. I know if I don't use my fingers right, all my real cookers out there, I'm just a basic cook. I've learned how to cook all by myself from a very young child. I never really learned from anybody because I just like to cook. I'm just like most people. If I took up cooking, it's probably because I liked it. I'm no chef at it. I've learned from experience. So then what I've done is I've just chopped that up and I'm going to chuck that in there. And then I'm going to get my third type of lettuce. I used, I'm going to use a living lettuce. Now a live lettuce is one that doesn't go bad. So these were on sale, which is fabulous at our local market. And they were on sale for $2, but they come in a huge head. And because they're alive, it doesn't go bad. So you actually don't waste it. So that might be better that we're having less waste than buying a head that we throw half of it out. We could probably look at that as a budget. I'll put another one in there. And I'm going to put that. So now I've got those three types of lettuce that I'm ready to put in there. Da -da. And that's going to be my base. So now as the Southwest goes, as we go in the Southwest, it's too funny. He's, a, he's in the Mid-South. I'm in the Southwest, South-South. He goes, your South isn't like my South. I'm like, right? <clears throat> it was an adjustment for my Courtney. So what I've done is I've made a little base. Because I'm not heating this, I'm not worried about putting it in a plastic container because it will not go into the microwave. Um, so therefore, it's just going to go into a storage container. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my chicken and I'm just going to throw this all in and put this off to the side. So here's where the process gets super simple. I have southwestern chicken that I'm going to put in a little pile off to the side. Then I'm going to take corn and put it off to the side. Why? Southwestern, corn, corn, corn. I am then going to take my marinated black beans and put them off to the side. Not as many them off to the side. Now a good favorite of ours, tomatoes. So our little ripe tomatoes are coming in. The prep pro knife of Epicures is fabulous. The prep pro knife, it's sharp, it's ceramic. It comes with a little um, cover on it, which is always missing. Oh, there it is. There it is. Just because I knocked it off, right? Always comes with that cover. Beautiful. We also have a chef's knife, which is a big one. And that is fabulous as well. And this is what my, so I have one of each here. That's my big cutting knife. And that is my prep pro knife. So this one is really sharp. Be careful with it, but it just slices like no tomorrow. So all I'm doing is cutting my tomatoes in half, putting them back in. A little off to the side. I'll do about four or five of them. I should count more, but I'm not. So now I've got a meat protein in there. I have got a bean protein in there. And then I'm going to put an egg protein in there. This is one of the cheapest, most viable proteins there is our eggs. And it's the whole egg we're looking for, not just the white or not just the, the yolk. Um, but I, I, yes, you can use the white for certain things. But as nutritional, you're looking for the whole thing. So I got a little trick to this one. I'm going to southwestern it up. Are you ready? Here's our southwestern. A little bit of nacho cheese. A 
I'm just going to put that across the egg. Pretty smart, eh? Nacho cheese. Just a little bit. Then I'm going to take that egg and put that off to the side in my bowl as well. So, so far, I'm looking like this. How's it looking? Decent. Edible. Then from there, I like what I eat. I don't care if you want to call it a salad or a protein bowl. When I eat it, I want it to hit my mouth like no tomorrow. So I was in the store the other day, and with utter shock, utter shock, I saw Jackie, I have my little towel. I saw organic blue, uh, organic strawberries. Organic strawberries, we don't get them very often here that are, that are decent unless we're doing them from our place. These were on sale for $2. And the ones that weren't organic at the front of the store, half the price or half the size were $8. I was like floored. So the moral of that story is organic food goes bad. So that means that it has a less shelf life. And at certain times, they're going to put it on sale. And I talked about this in my um, private group before. There's what's called the clean 15 and the dirty dozen. This, my friends, is a dirty dozen. This is a strawberry. A dirty dozen is a fruit or a vegetable that absorbs far too much pesticide um, than it should. So because a strawberry is something we can't peel, that is a dirty dozen. Um, anybody know what a clean 15 is? Celery is a dirty dozen. You can't peel that off peel that off. So now I've got my little bit of strawberry, organic strawberries off in the corner or in the middle, doing my little in the middle thing. Now, the only thing that I think that I am missing for mine, this is going to be Dylan's for mine. I'm going to add mushrooms. Again, an, another thing that I'm really a big fan of is the whole marinade process of oil. I think oil got a super, super bad rap. Fat did. And I am going to put that one for myself in our bruschetta. I've gone through like 10 jars of the bruschetta. It's beautiful. And I'm going to marinate that up. So that one's going to be marinated for mine. Super simple. It just means we can have different products in our bowls really easily. And then I'm going to let mine marinate and I'm going to put that one off to the side. What I am going to grab, the last thing I'm going to focus on, watch how I clean this. So in Epicure, we have these cutting. <laughs> I'm getting better at cooking shows. Watch. I need a clean one. I have six. <laughs> getting smarter. Get, getting smarter. Cheese. Now I'm choosing my cheese. I'm going to use a Gouda tonight because that's what was in my fridge. Um, in Southwest USA, their, their, their cheese industry is coming up hugely and they're into very creamery cheeses down there. Makes sense because of the industries that they have. Um, so I was looking up that the other day. Very interesting. This is Gouda. You could use if, um, if cow is something that is challenging for your body, you could use a goat or a rice. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this into squares Hey, Cobes, how you doing? Cat's here. How you doing, Cobes? Squaring this up. And again, I am a huge fan of impactful flavors going on. So easy, easy, easy. I call this easy cheesy. little bit of oil. Oops. little bit of oil. And on these ones, as we did with the egg, a little bit of nacho cheese. This was so good the other day. So all I did was take a little bit of the nacho flavoring that we have, mixing it in there, giving it that Southwest flavor as well. And then I am adding that into my bowl. And also the little bit of the oil that's on there 
helps to spread it through. Um, as we discussed in one of the last cooking classes, they do use products when you get pre-grated cheese. They do use additional products in there. Cellulose is one of them. Um, not usually allergies to people, only some people have allergies. So I'm going to take this marinated cheese, make a little spot for it. I'm going to chuck it in there. So let's think about it. I have my black beans, I have my southwestern chicken, I put my spice on my egg, on the cheese, tomato, corn to go with the black beans and the chicken, a little bit of strawberries there because they're in season. Last but not least, the last thing I'm missing is going to be nuts. Now, I could have added avocado to that as a great protein bowl as well, but um, tonight, because I've done, I'm basing mine on a flax oil, I'm not going to use the avocado, but an avocado would be a beautiful complement into this as well. I'm going to use walnuts. Why? Why, why, why? Because walnuts have iron and fiber and calcium. Walnuts have iron, fiber, and calcium. And what kind of oil? Does anybody know what kind of oil that nuts have? We have a monosaturated oil, a polysaturated oil, and a saturated oil. Does anybody know what kind that nuts have in them? It's poly. So I'm going to take my little walnuts and just stick them off. How many? Four or five. Just a little bit of everything. A little bit of everything. What does that look like? Could I not make four of these and eat these for two days? Full meals. Why do you ever have to cook? Why do you have to heat that up? So now I have my protein bowl. If I wanted to, I don't use a dressing on it at all. Everything. This one, though, is a red wine vinegar and an oil and Greek seasoning. So a red wine vinegar and an oil and then Epicure's Greek seasoning. I've already done it in my little cup. Spill it, Kim. And then all I'm doing is planting that right in the center. What do you think? So oil, red wine vinegar, Caesar dressing. Little bit of nacho cheese. Now we've got our cauliflower. Let's me see how this turned out. Hold on, I need a new mat. No, I'm just kidding, I don't. I've been pretty organized today. I like feel pretty with it for some reason. There we go, there we go. Off, 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 all to the side. That's missing a lid. That means that's going to fall over. So these are our silicone liners from Epicure, silicone liners. Um, I use them for absolutely everything. People are like, well, how do you clean them? I'm like, in the dishwasher. In the dishwasher. Yep, beautiful. Woo. And what I like about the silicone is the stuff tends to, once you get the edges, it just peels a bit. Mind you, I did this one super thin and I probably shouldn't have. I usually do my pizza crust like twice as thick as this one. Oh yeah, it'll come up, it'll come up. I got it. Okay, let me see, don't want to use a knife on there, oh, perfect, 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 did I get it? I did. Okay, now that I've got it off, I can turn it on here and I can start cutting it. Oh, this is cute! It turned out good! I sound so shocked. I'm always trying stuff. How am I going to know? Okay, I pass. These are awesome. Wow. Those are really good. Dylan will just eat that. So what they end up being 
is like a little snack. So it tastes like an accompaniment of a bread. What is it got in it? Nacho cheese. And, and Jackie, I used um, spinach, but I think in the vault list, the spinach is done. Did that finish today? Oh, the spinach was really good. The next one that's close to the spinach um, that I have that I know is pretty close in spices is the big burger sauce. So now I'm just taking these, putting these off to the side, lining it up. Would you eat that? Would you eat that as a protein bowl? I think you should eat that as a protein bowl, right? So I have chicken as a protein. Black beans is a protein, an egg is a protein. So we got our protein covered. Fiber, we've got three different types of lettuces underneath there. We also did cauliflower pizza sticks, right? Cauliflower pizza sticks on there. So we've got all that vegetable with the tomatoes going on. Then what I did is my cats, don't you dare do that as the camera goes. And then what I did is I thought, let's add a little bit of sweetness to that because we're actually going to have a red wine vinegar in our um, dressing that I could add the strawberries in there and give that little bit of zest to it with the Gouda cheese, right? I would gobble that. Up. Why would you not? I think a misconception, a big misconception, um, cause I am a person from the fitness industry is that the food is terrible and that is not the case. It truly is not the case. It is how you cook it. Like, I have people come in here and they're like, oh, I would never eat that. You know what I? <laughs> I, have, I don't prepare a salad where I'm like, okay, let's put some green stuff on there. And I don't know, like, what is that? I prepare it like that. So I think that if we have that imagination and we use Epicure type products on it, because the important thing for those that are here for the cooking class to know about Epicure products is we have this never ever list. I got involved with it because my son had little eating challenges when he was young and somebody gave me a jar of picante and said, here, he'll eat this like crazy because it was like a salsa. No reaction whatsoever, no pain, no nothing. Here it is, perfect. So then I was buying it for 10 years. We consume so much of it now, it's insane that I thought I better become a consultant so at least I can get a discount on all this stuff. So that's how I got into becoming a consultant in it. And what happens as a consultant, I get to share what I do best, which is cooking. I, I love to cook and I want to share that with everybody. And we need to make good food real fast in our homes. These are the products to use. Our Never Ever list says, hey, 70% of our stuff is non-GMO. We have less fillers. We are lower sodium. We are gluten-free. And we have the whole history, actually. If you go back, in 2012, we did this. 2013, we did this. 2015, we did this. So we have a whole history of how we have slowly become this very, very good local product company. When I did my, when I did my cauliflower today, it was so simple. I have a little, the little steamer. It took me five minutes. Cauliflower was done. Mushed it up. And it went super, super simple. Didn't have to turn anything on there. The, the bowl I just made now comes out of the premise of this book. And this book is the healthy lifestyle. It is pretty much the whole entire thing. Your lifestyle, your lifestyle, getting started, perfect portions, meal, grocery shopping. This actually surprised me only because I'm a fitness person. <laughs> right? I thought that was pretty cute. So that is what we will be. You could have that for a breakfast. You could have that for lunch. You could have that for dinner. You could change it up any way you want. One of the things you could do is just keep rotating your greens. A uh, good green to put in there would be kale. I like baby kale because the other kale, it gets so dry that I, I'm not a fan of it. So the one thing I might do is make a kale chip to go with it um, if kale is not my thing. The other thing I did, which I'm trying to, too funny. Okay, so. Found something to do with my 50 Epicure jars. Yes, I post that and I will get the cauliflower pizza recipe. And I did post it last time. We'll get it again. <laughs> I put rocks in the bottom, put dirt on there. And now I'm making in my, I'm making chives. And then I did these all on my reel on Instagram. And then in my protein container, 
I'm growing cilantro. So I'm making all of my household, this is what I'm doing. I'm growing chives and herbs and everything. So now I can reuse my pots going on. And I will be, that's what I'm doing with my Epicure stuff. So to end for our night, they brought you. You need to check the vault list out because there's so many things in the vault list that are not going to come back ever, 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 ever. The perfect portion cups, those are not going to come back. And I use those every single day. So I only have one more box of those myself. Those are not coming back, which I was correct. Mango curry dip is gone. Jackie, I hope you bought me a jar. Spinach dip mix. Jackie, is there still spinach mix dip? Is there? Is there? Is there? That's the best dip ever. If you have not ordered the spinach dip, I had five jars of it, and I went through all five within, like, I don't know, two months. I used it in all of my stuff. So spinach, make sure, yeah, put a couple up there. The other one that was, oh, this is not going to be comfortable, people. This one's going to hurt a little bit. So I was going to give this one away, but I'm not now because I just heard it's in the vault list. This is my last one. If you have hand issues and you are meat and you are vegetable, this is one of the best cutting boards you've ever had. And it's got a slant on it so you can just grip it and it grips on. But this is my last one. I was going to give that one away in April, but I'm not now because it's in the vault list. <laughs> Sorry about that, people. Make sure you get that one. And then the other one I really wanted to get in here that I really liked. You either like the gravy or you love the gravy. The gravy I have used for many, many different dishes, the herb gravy. So I have two jars left of that, so I don't have to order any more. But if you're looking for the herb gravy, make sure that you get a hold of that as well. The other thing I really liked was the African sweet potato stew. I really like that. Um, so that would be one that I would look at. That is in the vault list as well. Oh, and the Thai coconut. Two people ordered that this morning because that was the last um, that they were going to get of that. And they both ordered six packages of that. Remember, all of our products are so good price. They're so well priced. I have been out and doing all of the price comparison, looking at all the ingredients. And we are, we are just as sensitive to our prices as everybody else. If you order with your cooking class right now, here's the advantage. And here's where we need to stick together. Your host. The cooking class is together so we can get a shipping deal and we can get things cheaper. So get with your host, get with your consultant. Other thing I want to talk about is those people that eat food, which is everybody who's watching this. I had this conversation with Jackie. If you eat food, you should buy the consultant kit. The consultant kit has 250, 250 bucks in it, more than that in it, of all the basics, including the steamer in it. And it is the deal of the century to get the consultant package. I don't, that's why I bought it. And then I just got into selling it. I got my products cheaper. And if nothing else, you consume the whole entire thing and you, you're, you have three months. And to keep this process going is super simple. I originally thought, oh, I didn't want to get involved with this. Direct sales wasn't me. But what I realized is I really started consuming it. Like, I, I really love the product. So we consume a lot of protein powder. They have a beautiful vegetarian protein powder, both a chocolate and a vanilla. And it's one of the smoothest protein powders I've ever had, which is not gritty. Fabulous. And again, I make tons of shakes with it. Well, we go through two of these a month. So. That in itself is probably just under $100 in protein powder, like it is for anything. So for us, we're done. I've already got my consultant, and I can get a discount on it. And you can cook, and you can, you can share what you love to do. So the consultant kit is a really good idea. And if you come into people like us with the Spice Divas, heck, we're just fun. <laughs> we have what's called chillin' chats. We ended up just one day in a random, everybody was in a room on Facebook and like, I have no idea who you are. Hey, that's cool. So we're fun people to hang out with. Share our cooking stuff. Buy the consultant kit. I'm swearing, buy the consultant kit. Check the vault list. You got to get the stuff from your consultant, definitely from your consultant. And then last but not least, anything that we're doing here, any of the cooking that you like, 
invite people in here. If you comment right now, if I'm wrong, Jackie, comment, comment. That's going up towards draws. So comment in the cooking. What do you want to know from us? We've got a, we've got a very unique set of people in here. We do a lot of cooking. We know about the products. We know about the um, pantry items. And we know all about the consulting end of it. So we are here and we're going to be here for a while. Online is here to stay. I love what I do. I know the ladies in here love what they do. So join us in the Epicure thing. And Jackie, just blessed to have you. Thank you so much for my hat. I wear it every single day. Just so you know, I feel privileged. Not only that, again, my she's my boss. I keep telling her to call her my boss. Right? Look it. She made me this. She's everything. She has everything. I love her. So come and be a part of us. Join us. Thank you for watching the cooking show. Any questions or comments, put them in there. To my spice divas, off you go for the evening. And we will have, we have more cooking shows coming up here this week. Can't forget that as well. So make sure you check in here. I'm only one cook. There's other cooks coming up. Check through here. Get your people invited in here. Maybe host a cooking show. If you want to earn some rewards and you want to get free stuff and you don't want to buy the consultant kit, host a cooking show. Bring a few friends and family in here. We'll start giving you the rewards for all the stuff that you're helping us to promote and use. Right? Consult, host, cook, or use whatever you'd like to do. Enjoy it. Have a good night. And I am out for the evening. Have a good one, everybody. 6 p.m. with Jackie, right? Yep, yep, 6 p.m. with Jackie. See you later.